Hi, I'm Ram. Welcome back to my playthrough of the Outer Wilds. I did say I was going to do the Ash Twin Towers next, but... Yeah, I've decided I should probably do the Angler Fish. I've kind of been trying to avoid doing stuff to do with the Angler Fish, because they freak me right out, but... I think I'm, I'm actually going to, so apparently in... In here, there's a way of getting around them. And I do have a theory that it's maybe something to do with having your ship headlight on. Because, you know, it would make sense to me that either... Maybe if you're having your headlight on, you could... You could pretend you were, like, also an anglerfish, so they wouldn't look at you. I'm not super up to date on my biology. Also, I'm hoping that because my scout launcher... Right, my scout launcher is still there. There we are, and luckily it's got its geography thing, so we can just sort of check out up here. Right, we're gonna need more more energy to get up there. How did how did these children, presumably without jetpacks, ever make it in here? Ooh, I'm losing fuel. Okay, that that could be really bad. That'll, that'll serve me right for basically jetpacking the whole way here. Because, you know, this, this place fills with sand pretty pretty quickly. Right, so it's not here. Oh, slightly, slightly other... There we are. That's, that's where I'm aiming for. Alright, so we can do it in two... In two journeys if we're just careful. There we are. There's that thing's mouth. Right, come on. Close up a little bit more. Great. Now, this thing down here should tell me how to avoid their skulls. Whatever it was, whatever it was we ended last time is the anglerfish. Rule change. The anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pie says, real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. It's okay if the younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will still wear it with scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. Right, so blind seems the most important part of that. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. The last little fish to be caught is a new anglerfish. So, is that the only the information I'm supposed to find, that the anglerfish are blind? case anything anything else in this room there is like a little teleport tunnel up there which I'll go head to come on get me up here ah here as well so maybe there is a little bit more anglerfish study the long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent about it uses this growth to attract prey an update, Melloray, while I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They added a rule to their game that incorporates our Wii shirts. It's wonderful. I'm entirely delighted. Anglerfish's digestive, digestive trust suggests death by starvation. Visually, the specimen appears to be of the same species as the anglerfish in Dark Bramble. We don't believe it originated from this planet. Okay, so that's, again, nothing... Nothing new there other than the fact that, yeah, they're blind. I don't know how them being blind helps us. Other than, you know, don't make noise. Which, how easy is it to... Is is that maybe a cue to get out of my spaceship? Because uh, that sounds terrifying. And I definitely don't want to do that, but I feel like I feel like that might be what it's suggesting. Because presumably having, you know, the engine running and that makes a lot of noise. Or actually... Does my scout make like a passive noise? I mean, it makes a noise when it fires, but I'm not sure if it's... Yeah, it's, it's making a noise when it fires. Is there something I can do with, like, a... Okay. 
I I was thinking maybe I could like in inject my scout with a radio frequency. Doesn't seem like it either. Where's my where's my ship? Over there. Alright, I guess. Guess we better just start trying things out. Do a bit of trial and error and something's gonna work. Right, I'd say it's it's time to start experimenting with these anglerfish. So First I will try just sort of floating without really trying to do much. We know the, the red dot is like another seed that lets us in this place. So how is this? We're making slight, slight sounds as we're moving. If I just sort of like edge along a little bit. Ooh, there's one there as well. What's the what's the red thing there? Oh yeah, it, it heard that. Mm, okay, great. Right, so even like tiny little tiny little movements are enough to set it off. I I am I'm I'm really worried that I'm gonna have to get out of my spacesuit for this. Right. I guess here we're going then. I'm gonna have to just go in here alone in my suit. Although I've, I've still got propellants in my suit. Am I falling? Am I even wearing my suit? I am wearing my suit. Ah, I can maybe use my ship as a lure? I don't think my ship's making noise though. I really don't like it in here. The other problem with this section is obviously I want to take it slow and take my time in here, but I can't. I can't really do that. So there's two there. There was one over there, which worries me. There was definitely a a light coming from the left, and I can't tell where it is now. Part of me wants to get out my scout launcher and see if that will distract them, or if that'll just make them come over to my location. All right, we're doing it. So, which one of these is, is the closest? At least I know for certain that floating about like this doesn't attract them. Did that cause any of them to look at me? Because if I, if I could lure them away, we, we'd probably have a better chance. There we go. The angler's kind of getting into sight, and he is sort of near my ship. I'll try and shoot at him directly. He's he's definitely moving. Is he moving towards my scout boat? Oh, I, I can't tell. He definitely turned around, but I don't know if he's facing my scout or if he's facing me. Alright, I'll, I'll test with this one. Retrieve my scout and then throw it... But that area over there appears to be a seed. And it doesn't actually look like it's it's close to an anglerfish. So that's an anglerfish. We're running out of oxygen, which is the issue. This here isn't an anglerfish. I'm going to start very, very slowly, very gently trying to move towards here. Again, I know there's, unfortunately, you know, layers to this place, so I'm not particularly happy about that. This could be working, or it could just be because... I hear something. Oh no. This is the worst, just floating in space forever. Can't even tell which way is up anymore. Is that the way I was going? I swear I was closer to one. Ah, here we are. This guy looks kind of green inside. I can't remember which one of these I, I went to. And yet, yeah, kind of seems like... Oh god.
going through one of those. Right, you're in there. What's in there? We don't know, and I can't really... I can't really see literally anything in here. So, that's fun. Is there any... Doesn't appear to be any white lights in here. No, no, there's that up there. That white light's moving. There's a red light that's... Okay, that looks like something ginormous. Yeah, what's what's that thing? That's that's something big and rotating, and I don't like that. What is that? Is that like a? It's a something. Right. If I don't start hurrying this up, I'm gonna die of no oxygen. So. Which I feel like, in some respects, is kind of unfair, because this thing is like a, uh... What is it? Tell me what this is. It won't tell me, there's something terrifying and rotating there. What is it? What's the, the glowy thing? I've got to know, I feel like last time I saw a glowy thing, it was just like a one of those things, though. Don't make me walk into the middle of this thing. I think it might actually be the rock that's glowing itself. Yeah, it's it's, it's throwing shards of something at me, potentially... I was going to say, maybe ghost matter. If that hits me, I'm going to get pretty injured. But... Oh, I hear something breathing at me. It might just be me. Right, what's that? That's an angler. You can't tell me that's not an angler. Doesn't look like an angler. Alright, I'm going to have to start making... Making more movements, which I'm not happy about. But I will do anyway. We're heading towards the, the red thing. Oh god, that's an angler, isn't it? That's probably an angler. Still moving super slowly. I'm gonna die. I can't afford to move slowly. Alright, we're moving quickly, just so I can see what this red thing is before I die. And I'm, I'm just waiting for an angler to swoop in out of nowhere and eat me. Come on, please tell me what this is before I die. It's another one of you. Oh yeah, I think I remember I saw a red version of you before. And then a million anglerfish in there. Alright. I'm going to check my ship's log to see what sort of information we have in here. Hopefully something a bit more conclusive than the fossil. Real anglerfish are blind. Okay. Trying to think if there's anything other significance in their game, but no. I I kind of, to be honest, already assumed they were blind, because they don't have eyes, and also they live deep underwater, so... Is there is there anything else about that? Brittle hollow shelter site, okay, I haven't seen that, but that's... That's unrelated to the anglerfish, do we, do we have anything else about Dark Bramble that would be helpful? Uh, no. Not anything. I I do not like how close I am to these guys right now. I'm kind of just trying to let myself float through it, but the problem is at some point you stop floating and you have to start moving forward again. And it's very uncomfortable when that happens. Like, am I even moving anymore? It's really hard to tell. This is... this is something. That's definitely... Down there. It doesn't... What is that? It kind of looks like eggs. 
which probably isn't what I what I want to find down here. But it's I mean it's the red light and what I've been kind of trying to do so far is just follow the red light. So I don't know, I'm just gonna ram my ship into the middle of this and see if this does anything. This this does definitely just look like a bunch of of fish eggs. I'm gonna have to kind of try and go to the side of it so I don't I don't hit it. I'm trying to go really slowly. This has gotta be the waiting game. Come on, is there something? There's gotta be something in there for this to be glowing this much. Yeah, I, I'm moving faster. I think it might be... Grabbing me in or something? This this appears to be... Not much, actually. It's moving me... Upwards. Is this not anything? I'm gonna get my little signals out. I'm supposed to be finding a distress beacon. There we are, there's the hint of a distress beacon. Where is it? There. So, is that a seed or is that an anglerfish? Uh, the, the thing on the picture is moving kind of weird, but... There we go. Right, keep slow. I'm I'm worried the supernova might be coming soon, but we'll go anyway. Right, in here, I don't know if this is gonna be where the ship is, or is this just a different junction towards the ship? Ow, bits or ah, and then we're Up there-ish, fine. Fine, I can do, now that I've got a, an actual objective, I can actually head there. Oh no, it's playing the sad end of the universe music again. Yeah, I don't think I've got enough time for this. Yep, we're going. Okay, we're not going, that's an anglerfish. That is not an anglerfish. That is, that is the ship. Hold on, hold on. Yes, very important. We need to get in here. Please say there's not an anglerfish, like, right behind me. That would be a very cruel, very horrible thing to do. Okay. We, we're gonna have to... Have to run here. Cool, unidentified signal. I know, I know. Right, it pauses with reading, so please just let me see something I can read. I can read you. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We've held out as long as we could here, but this uh, that's a supernova is nearly depleted and the angler fish from our Return to the vessel. As the mess is finished, the vessel's breaking is getting shorter. Come on, please don't. Unidentified signal. Come on, give me the this stuff escape pod three multiple collisions come on life support error propulsion error is that all of them there's one at the top do not exit pause i i'm hoping that was all of the information that i was supposed to get out of that place Okay, please, I am begging you, say that that's the only thing I needed to find from, from there. Because, escape pod 3 survivors. You know what, if there's there's more to discover here, I, I don't want to discover it, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to try and put off that as far as possible. I am going back to the Astrowinds. I've spent about an hour and 20 minutes wandering about in Dark Bramble, being jump scared by fishes. And I need I need a break for, like, my own sanity at least until i calm down a bit so i guess we're going back to we're going back to the ash twins which unfortunately means in order for the the sand to drain we're gonna have to wait like 
10 minutes ish down here so we can actually access the towers. Right, we're about maybe seven ish minutes into into this loop, so uh, the sand hasn't all gone, but I'm hoping it's gone enough that the the towers will be accessible. So let's have have a look at how how it's coming along. Uh, I'm not I'm not seeing a huge amount of towers. I'll be honest. There's. Or this main one at the top. Right, I'll put my ship down here-ish. Wait till the, the sand goes by. I think this was... Yeah, this is the only tower that's up right now. So maybe it's the, it's the most important. Oh no. Right, so they're kind of getting revealed by a layer. That's somewhere. This is, this is also somewhere. I, uh, I can't remember what the pointy, pointy-sided one was, but I remember it was something, something good. Alright, can't open from, from this side. Can I get into the top pot? What were you the symbol for again? Alright, it doesn't matter that much because we'll have to go inside it anyway. There we are, doors open at the back. Did I go in here before? How much time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi? How are you and Idea processing the Sun Station plans? Yep, fail or succeed explosively. I did read this, and this is like a this is like a, a horrible, a horrible little uh, test to see if you're good at using your suit. Uh, I'm not. I am, I'm very bad at using my suit. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. That's already not, not good. Right, so this is a, this is a warp tower. I'm not sure if this warp tower is like active. I know the one in the white hole you have to switch on. But let's just stand here, stare at the sky and wait for a little bit. Here we are. Right, this is... This is... Timber Hollows? Timber Hollows, Bitter Hollows, but I don't recognise any of this. 2,801 years ago, no user commands received for 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep, so... Almost 300,000 years ago, increased solar activity detected, Sol Station... Hull integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. Ah, we're actually we're actually in the sun station. Didn't think that looked like where we were where we were going. Bad news, I have 60, 60 bits of oxygen left, so there better be some trees in this sun station. Or this is gonna thank God. Yeah, it's it's playing the, the dramatic music, so. There'll be some good stuff here. Mission, science compels us to explode the sun. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. But it's accurate, we're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Here's a better one. Mission, determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. You lack a sense of humour, at least don't lack a sense of effort. Okay, so you were deliberately trying to explode the sun. That's good to get ironed out at least. There's a way... Way up this side. Some of your... Some of your little... Oh. I, I don't know what killed me there. I think I may have gotten too close to the sun while in the sun. Alright, we're back here. So... There's little masks down here. The, the the gravity's quite bad in this area. Simply because we're so close to the sun that we kind of get aggressive. I know I did this last time. But I went over to that side, which must be the one that's got the sun next to it. Oh, it's okay. That's got its eyes shut, so that's not really helpful right now. I also managed to get here within about seven minutes, so... That'll probably be good for 
Ah, there's the sun down there. That'll be good for the the inevitable future when we when we have to do all of this very quickly. Great, sun's there. Try and not get too close to it. Approximate time is still sun station is destroyed by expanding star. Three minutes forty seconds. Time until star's death. Fifteen minutes ten seconds. Okay, so this has a different a different life cycle than than the rest of it. I assumed I assumed this would be fine. So the sun and the eye are balanced. Right, gotta gotta make this quick, or at least make sure I have something to record. Ashtwin project. Let's yeah, get the the actual text first. What happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired Yarrow, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never, and could never, cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over, but I'm unsure how to start over. Hi, I've heard for you, my friends. We all know how hard you've worked, so I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is the day? -er? We're well. Our terror work was finished. Return to Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching this star system that we'd like to investigate. And that is the interloper, so maybe they were... Oh god, gravity's getting me pretty close to the sun. Maybe they noticed the, the interloper had a source of energy. Maybe they learned how to make the ghost crystal into, into some form of power. Ah, here's my Ash Twin project. And as usual, there's this three people that I remember. Nice. Uh, I might try and get back to the to the Ash Twin project if I can while I'm here. You're not activated either. I I really don't think it's a uh, Solanum or the oh Christ the the one that we met on the Quantum Moon. I don't think. They're the person who has the other, uh, I, I can't think, high stress situation. It's not that high stress, but you know what I mean. I don't think the lady on the quantum moon was the person who had the, the other satia thing, because they don't remember. Right, that's that located. Can I exit here through the top? I oh, know, I can just get out the door, fine. So, presumably they meant for you to turn the sun thing explode on, and then I'm hoping this is in sequence. So, if we just sort of run forward. Right, anyway, the next towers are here. There's this here and this here. They're sort of like... Uh... Twins? Which would make me think this is... This is the one that just goes to the Ember Twin and the Ash Twin. Is this... No, it, it can't be the one that just travels back here, because otherwise... What's the point of leaving? Uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see where this goes. Right, I'm pretty confident I've done a whole loop on this one. It doesn't... Ow! Ah, oh, stupid cactus. I'm pretty sure it's not taking me anywhere. Yeah, there's the sand again, so it must not be. Unless it was taking me to, to Ember Twin. In which case, hopefully this would as well. Yeah, there we are. That's... Ember Twin. Right, so... What needs doing on Ember Twin? We're, we're sort of next to the high lab. So maybe I need to, to turn the, the black hole stuff on. Although that would require going all the way down into the sunless city first, which would be uh, a pain and a half. Right, this is the one for Timberhurst, and this... This, I'm pretty sure, just goes to the mine, so I still, I still don't know what's... What I need to do at each of these locations. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. Come on, Timber Hearth. Yeah, great. I'm... I'm here, but what am I supposed to be doing here? I would hope maybe something, something extra showed up when I did this, but... Yeah, it just, it just says charged. I mean, the sun station was useful, but... The other one's not so much. This one takes us to Brittle Hollow. Although, nicely it takes us to the area near the Black Forge of Brittle Hollow. I was... I was editing my other videos, and there isn't actually... Yeah, there's not anything significant down here. I'm pretty sure I checked this before. Did I? Who can remember? Actually, maybe I... maybe I... Ugh. Maybe I didn't, because I don't quite remember this section. Exit to surface. Right, and this is further down? Yeah, that's the, the area I would have come up if I was able to. Ditto with that, right? Let's, let's at least see where this goes so we can maybe reverse it. Ah, this is this is just one of the houses on the surface. And it's one way, so Unfortunately I don't think I can I can get back to the Ash Twins from from here. Cause there's there's no way I'm gonna be able to go upside down on that forge again. Right, I might have to have to reset and go back to the Ash Twins. This is this is kind of not the Ash Twins stuff I was doing before, but just to sate my curiosity, and now that we know that we do have oh my Christ, why is there a hole there? Seems like a bad place to put that. Yeah, just to sate my curiosity, I think I am going to Am I upside down perhaps? It's really hard to tell in this game. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the black hole forge at the bottom and maybe see if we can do something with it. Is this is this good parking? Uh that that looks good enough. Okay, well. Giant steep looks kind of horrific from this angle. Just saying, that's not a good look for it. Also, I swear we don't usually end up that near. I swear the, the white hole and the giant steep usually aren't that close by to each other. Right, thankfully I actually know my way... Why is my ship 10 kilometers that way? Has my ship been sucked into the white hole? Probably. I know my way well enough around this area that it didn't actually take that long to get back here. So... My ship is in the white hole, isn't it? Alright, I'm going to have to jump in the black hole again. I swear I can do this. Ooh, 500 metres away. That's not great. Just got to get back to it and then get back to the Ash Twins so I can finally check what's at the bottom. Ooh, that's, that's coming pretty quickly. There's, there's an acquired art to moving about in space, and I, I still don't really have it. There we are. Thank you. Right, quick journey back. Hope we're... Hope we're doing alright for time. I can't quite tell how far into the universe we are, but between falling into the black hole and... You know, falling into the black hole again, I can't imagine we're... We we have huge amounts of time. The uh, the sun station has definitely been been swallowed. Actually, that kind of looks like it's there. So does that mean we're like less than six minutes into this run? That definitely doesn't seem to make sense. But I mean, I'd be happy if that was true. The uh, I noticed the uh, the interlopers kind of. Starting to, to rotate the sun a lot more closely than it did. I swear it never used to 
to get that close before. So maybe the secret to, to exploring more of the interloper is just spending a lot more time there. Right, so it's... oh god, it's, it's, it's this one. Please don't die, my vitals are pretty low. It's th this one, I think. This looks like a sun. Hmm. If there's if there's nothing at this black hole forge thing, and it it turns out I spent like so long trying to find absolutely nothing, I'm going to be furious. Here we are. This is down here. Right. Do not, under any circumstances, jump. I'm gonna have to take this like. Properly slow. I always have have the urge to. Oh Christ! Okay, apparently the floor didn't load in for a bit either. Nor the trees. So this area is having having some troubles. Right, there was there was a thing on the wall which I read. But ah, this actually converts into a door. Lovely. I was not expecting this. I assumed this was kind of. I don't know really, like the equivalent of an anvil. Good old Satya. Right, looks like there's an upper floor as well. You don't have your eyes open. There's... Right, start reading stuff. Regarding the warp towers on Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the centre of the astral body to which it's attuned? I enjoy position as much as the next Nomai, but if, for example, a tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with its astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, proceed the next Nomai is not Poke. We don't need the alignment angle to be exact, it only needs to be within 5 degrees of the astral body's centre. Of note, this gives us a slightly longer warp window. I believe this window will last roughly several seconds. As such, any Nomai stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will all need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it's active to avoid... Accidental transportation. Right, and which which sort of tower are you pointing at? I kind of don't want to know. Ah, lovely discs here. Where am I taking this first black hole core? Where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? All of the warp cores are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. In that case, you're leaving for delivery. I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin. Just to make sure Yarrow receives it, of course you are. The white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so these deliveries will be a greater pain in your cervi cervical spine. Oh. The tower designs is in the high energy lab on the Ender. Ember Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Yarrow he's familiar with them. Right, we already know that. I already know where all the towers are. Of note, Yara believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs, namely that one of the warp towers on the Ash Twin will never activate because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Right, I think that was the one we were we were standing at. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is always its receiver? Does he not know that the warp tower always aligns with the centre of its corresponding astral body? Isn't an unreceivable belief, considering the receiver does have to be located on or close to orbit around the relevant astral body. That's your understanding at first. He understands this distinction. He likely doesn't realise the hourglass twins are too close together to function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point, believe them. So they do function as one. So the towers will never activate. Okay, so the one, the tower and Ash Twins kind of warping to itself. I think is what that's trying to say. Right, up the stairs then. Hopefully there's something we can slot this little stone in. Ah, there, there is not. Right, I thought there was an upper floor to this. Maybe... Maybe not. Right, no upper floor, but we do, we do have this thing. 
that we can get hopefully new information about. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ashtwick. Everyone here working on the Astron is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. Is, is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore Yarrow. The core is finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. She is only nervous. Her design works beautifully clever. Okay, so the warp core definitely wasn't finished. This is this is nice, like narrative information, but that doesn't doesn't help me know how to get inside. Because I, ooh, I believe that is a location that I haven't seen before. All right, all of you are doing the same the same thing, and there's. Some sort of a, a gigantic staircase. Does that does that help me? It does help me. Is that maybe implying that the centre of the warp core is Oh okay, I fell off again. But yeah, is that saying that the centre of the warp core is I'm gonna need to go to the the warp pad that wouldn't activate on the Ash Twins. And maybe walk back to it from somewhere else and that'll walk me in. It's I feel like it's something to do with that kind of thing. I don't I don't fully know what they're implying. Though I'm also thinking if they were attempting to if they're suggesting that the Ember Twin and the Ash Twin are the same astral body, then are they suggesting that if you try to walk to the Ember Twin, you might get to walk to the Ash Twin in, in, instead, and vice versa? In which case, maybe getting to the inside of the Ash Twin means I'd have to walk from a different receiver to the one on the Ember Twin, somehow. Alignment Angle Diagram. Okay, I didn't actually figure out what that was. They're not exact, they need to be within 5 degrees. Longer warp windows. Okay. So, uh, if I'm to understand that, is that implying that if you're warping to either one of the, holo the hourglass twins, if you go at the start of the of the warp pad, you go to Ember Twin, but if you go at the tail end of the warp pad, you go to Ash Twin. I think, I think that might be what it's implying, so... What we need to do is go to one of the towers, and then... Sort of look upwards so we know when it's going to be active, but sort of delay our direction. And then hopefully we'll get warped inside the Ash Twin project. That, that's doable. That that makes sense as working for me. Kind of. I guess we'll do that next time. Thank you for watching.